Hello friends, in this video we are going to tell a short trick to remember 15 specialized agencies of the United Nations and their respective headquarters. So without wasting further time, let's start. As I have mentioned earlier, these are the names of all the specialized agencies of the United Nations along with the locations of their headquarters such as the headquarter of International Labour Organization is situated in Geneva, Switzerland. Similarly, the World Health Organization is also based in Geneva. And as you all can see, the list goes on till the World Bank Group, which is based in Washington DC, the capital city of the United States. But let me tell you a short story of a labor, which will easily help you to remember each and every headquarter in a precise order. Once a labor lived in Geneva, Switzerland. He was good in health and the weather was also fine. Then he decided to sell all his property for going around with his family. After selling, he telephoned and posted a letter to Bern, Switzerland, where his family lived, to inform them about the incident. Here you can see the portion that is highlighted in green indicates the name of the agency. For example, labor refers to International Labor Organization, Health refers to World Health Organization, Weather refers to International Meteorological Organization, Property and Telephone stands for World Intellectual Property Organization and International Telecommunication Union respectively. The headquarters of these six agencies mentioned over here in a chronological sequence are all based in Switzerland. Only you need to remember that the first five of these are located in Geneva whereas the last one that is the Universal Postal Union is only located elsewhere in Bern which is also the capital city of Switzerland. So let's get back to the story again. Meanwhile he became very hungry. So he went to a restaurant in Rome, Italy to eat agricultural food. The headquarter of Food and Agriculture Organization and International Fund for Agricultural Development both are situated in the capital city of Rome in Italy. After eating, he went to the tourism office in Madrid, Spain. There he booked three tourist spots in Europe. Those are number one, UNESCO heritage site in Paris, France, number two, the industrial area in Vienna, Austria, and number three, a sea beach in London, the United Kingdom. Here, tourism office indicates World Tourism Organization, the headquarter of which is located in Madrid. UNESCO here stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, which is based in Paris. The industrial area here indicates the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, which is headquartered in Vienna. And the sea beach here indicates the International Maritime Organization, which is based in London. From London, he booked a flight for Montreal, Canada. After finishing the entire trip, he decided to deposit the remaining money in a bank in Washington DC, the United States. The flight hints at the International Civil Aviation Organization located in Montreal. Similarly, money and bank refer to the International Monetary Fund and World Bank Group respectively, both of which are headquartered in the Washington DC. So this is the short story of a lever that we were discussing at the beginning of this video. Let me just recapitulate the story for you once more. Once a lever lived in Geneva, Switzerland. He was in good health and the weather was also fine. Then he decided to sell all his property for going around with his family. After selling, he telephoned and posted a letter to Bern, Switzerland, where his family lived, to inform them about the incident. Meanwhile, he became very hungry, so he went to a restaurant in Rome, Italy to eat agricultural food. After eating, he went to the tourism office in Madrid, Spain. There, he booked three tourist spots in Europe. Those are number 1. UNESCO heritage site in Paris, France. Number 2. The industrial area in Vienna, Austria. And number 3. A sea beach in London, the United Kingdom. From London, he booked a flight for Montreal, Canada. And after finishing the entire trip, he decided to deposit the remaining money in a bank in Washington DC, the United States.